I love you. Yeah, I know. Don't forget it though. This is Skins and you're behind the scenes. Series 3, it was Emily pursuing Naomi. This year, they're finally a couple, whereas last year it was just the chase. I want Naomi. You were left thinking that Emily and Naomi were going to kind of like go off and uh, live happily ever after. Naomi cheated. Clearly, like, Naomi's been messing around uh, in that um, happy summer, which they were supposed to have had, like, living together and stuff. What's all this? I'm moving in. Where? I was very sad when I read the scripts and read that Naomi had cheated. I thought Naomi was a bitch. Um, when I found out about Sophia, but um, but Lily will probably agree with me about that. The director was like, "Oh, don't don't look in the locker um, before before we do the scene and open it," because she was like, "You have to be, um, you ha I want you to like see it for the first time on the take, so you can be like properly weirded out." When it opened and the camera was on for the first time, I actually wanted to laugh because it was so mental. I think me and some of the directors kind of came up with the fact that Emily is quite full on and Naomi's never been that kind of person. She's never had, she doesn't have many friends, she's not very close with her mum so she doesn't have full on relationships and she's not used to it and maybe she cheated as in a way of escapism. Let it go before you screw everything up. I think we're both like really defensive of our characters. If you're playing someone that is a horrible character, you still need to find something that you can relate to. Me and Lily nearly have arguments about it all the time. I think, like, if we weren't, then we wouldn't be able to play them. Yeah, we do have heated discussions about it, but they're good. I hope Emily and Naomi will work it out. They could do, they could make it work. Um, or it could go horribly wrong. I think it just depends on how how hurt Emily really is and how stupid Naomi is. <laughs>